you already know what it is, guys. It's time. It is time for the season finale at Wolf Mania Backlash. And here is the match card that I believe is going to set sail for what's going to happen for season six. Match number one. Kyle Noble and Relic, they've been fighting each other for weeks now, and now they're finally settling it, settling it. The, they are going to settle this match in their number one contenders match to face the WKW Golden Fang champion. Who will he face? Who will face Jinx alongside? Noble, who has gone through multiple changes, gone through so much, it's gonna be insane. And then of course, Relic making his return after almost 15 years. Almost 15 years. And he's back, still looking good, and he's about to wreck havoc. Let me know in the comments who you think is gonna win. And the second match, oh buddy. We just couldn't wait any longer. The triple threat for the unified, undisputed tag team champion ship will be on the line we have form of fortune project devastation both champions of their own brand and of course the winner of the number one contendership from mbw el gigante el gordo and martin we already saw what they could do they almost took out project devastation but hey anything can happen in wkw this is it right here the winner will be the undisputed unified tag team champions for, for, for all three brands. That's if there's three brands. More on that in a minute. And next up, we have Shaddix defending his Platinum Championship against Noctis because he did win that, trip, that Battle Royale Triple Threat match. And wow, it was crazy. He will be going up against Shaddix against the Platinum, uh, for the Platinum Championship. Relic would be by his side, but of course, his, his match is literally the opening card. So hopefully... They can go on a good note. Match number four. Yep, it has happened. Ever since they lost the tag team titles. Oh man, Prophet went AWOL, and now El Pibia is out for blood, for bragging rights, for revenge, all the above. Prophet, El Pibia, go one on one for the first time ever. Who will win? Honestly, you decide. Let me know in the comments. And match number five. God damn, man. It really does go up to this. Everything will change when season six starts, depending on who comes out the victory. Mr. Davis, who has been running WKW since 2010, before they had the right to air the show on TV. Mr. Davis has gone through so many weird phases and now he has crossed the line. He will be going one-on-one -on -one against the returning wrestler who was in season three in the Cruiserweight division. And now the general manager of WDW, David Spencer, coming out of retirement to finally put an end to this. The victor. If David Spencer wins, Mr. Davis is out of the job. If Mr. Davis wins, NBW will cease to exist David Spencer will be fired, and all hell will break loose come season six. Who do you want to win? Let me know in the comments. My thing, I just really hope David Spencer wins because we went through a Mr. McMahon uh, arc back then in season three, and I was not happy. No one was happy. So let's hope we don't go through another dark time of WKWs. Marco Storm decided he wanted to state an open challenge for his open weight championship. Who will this opponent be? We honestly don't know. We gotta see who's gonna be the one to go and step up to Marco Storm for the open weight championship. And match number seven. Oh yeah, we're getting into it, man. We got a total of 10 matches, mind you, 10 matches. The unified, undisputed women's championship on the line. My girlfriend Liv, Chloe Cross, my sister, Tierra. All champions in their own show, but this is going to defy who is going to be the one to represent all women in the women's division for all three shows. 
brands, promotions, the whole shebang. Who will be on top to be the top class woman in the world? Alright, in match number 8, Trevor Hayden has also issued an open challenge for the WDW Monarchy Championship. As I said before, I don't know who's going to be the one because ever since he won the WDW Monarchy Championship, he's been undefeated because no one had the goal to face him in a match. They've only faced him in regular non-title matches. So who is going to be the one to step up to the plate? And will they take the title from him and start a new reign season 6? Or will Trevor Hayden remain champion and move on as undefeated? Let me know. And of course, number 9, Sky has issued a challenge to whoever is in the back to face him for the WDW Mayhem Championship. He has not held the title yet, ever since he won in the Go Home episode of WDW against Hunter Harvey. But, this is gonna be pretty great. He'll be glad to hold the title when he, fee when he knows he's gonna win the match. But, it depends who's gonna be his opponent. We'll have to see in the season finale. And of course, the main event this uh, Jinx has had a grudge against Gavin Watkins ever since season four leading into season quarantine. Gavin Watkins got the opportunity instead of Jinx when Jinx was supposed to have that opportunity, which is why he left the company, did his own thing in his own show, and now he is back. Dealt the business that he said he was gonna do, formed a squad, broke up the squad, and never went their separate ways. And yet Jinx was still had his eye on the prize. And now he is the current WKW Golden Fang champion. With Gavin Watkins on the other hand, who is a former champion. Will he be able to take down Jinx? Or will Jinx be proving everyone that he was right? That he is the deserving, earning, well-respected Golden Fang champion. We're gonna have to find out, man. This is the season finale. The season finale match card. It is going to be insane. I hope you're excited. Because I'm excited. And scared. Because a lot of things can happen. We've seen it over the years. We've seen it over the past seasons. A lot of things can change. But like I said. Let me know in the comments of who you think is going to win. Who you bet on. And how do you think season 6 is going to go out. Thank you for watching. And I hope you're hyped for this match card. Because I sure am. Catch you on the season finale.